Hey everybody, my name is Ivica. Thank you so much for joining me on my latest Unreal Engine beginner tutorial that will show you how you can quickly and easily blend texture intensity in your materials, which will include you creating a material with two different types of textures and then easily and quickly influencing how much of the top layer texture, let's call it that, you want to have in the finished material. So that can be applied to a range of purposes in your Unreal Engine levels, but the easiest way is to kind of think of a single base material or texture that has the second top layer texture over it. So let's say we want to create a brick wall with grass covering it, but we want to see how much grass we want to have in that and how, want, how do we want to actually influence the same blending in the finalize material. So to do that, we're going to right click and create a new material. We could call it uh, grass wall. We're going to open it up. And first we're going to get two nodes for texture samples. So right click and then type texture. And it's already selected texture sample. We're going to copy paste it to create two of these. And we're going to choose, first of all, for the first, the upper texture sample is going to be a wall. So let's say, or brick. We can choose any of these, clay brick. And here we're going to choose grass. These are all assets that you already have in your starter content. Now to blend them, we are going to use or choose the lerp node. Right click, type lerp, and here it is at the end, under utility, learn linear interpolate, or you can simply create it by pressing L and clicking when you have the same node. Now with these two, we are going to connect the first one to A, and then we're going to get a connect the second one to B as well as its alpha to alpha node and we're going to connect them to base color. I'm going to save it just to so show you the preview of the same mixture. It's going to be a pretty dense mixture where we basically won't even see the brick, st all of the brick stuff behind the grass. It's going to be like a homogeneously mixed texture. But we don't want to do that. We want to still have the texture sample of the clay, clay wall. And we're going to use a set of nodes to actually influence how this second upper layer texture sample behaves. So we're going to break these connections with, by pressing the Alt button. And first we're going to get a scalar parameter. Here it is on the parameter, scalar parameter, and we're going to call it grass intense. So it's grass intensity, and we're going to set the wealth value to one. From here, we're going to get another node, which is going to be a multiply node. Here it is. And now we're going to actually connect the output of grass intensity to B and we're going to connect the RGB to A at this multiply node. And from here, the multiply node, the output, we're going to connect to both B and alpha. So there it is. A section now here Let's move it down so it's better visible. Is used to basically manipulate the output of the grass, the upper layer. And as you can see, we already have a result. We can see the brick wall behind it and we can see the grass here. Now let's try and change the grass parameter, the default value to let's say 0.5. We're going to save again and allow Unreal Engine to present a preview. And we're going to see the results, which should have a lot more bricks 
and a lot less grass. And there you have it. As you can see, we can see the grass, but it's barely visible. Now, we want to have more grass, but we don't want to have the situation from the start when we didn't have the multiply and scalar parameter nodes. So we're going to set it to 1.15. And we're going to save again and see the preview once the engine generates it, which will now have more grass, but still have the brick wall visible behind with all of its elements. And there it is. As you can see, it's a brick wall covered in grass. It looks like someone cut the grass and basically mashed it into the brick wall or onto it. But using this setup, you can actually define any texture, its blend and the intensity so that you can get the precise thing that you're looking for. A really simple setup. It includes a single node, a single multiply node, a single lerp node. The scalar parameter defines the intensity. We can of course place it to a lot more. We can say 1.7 for example, and we're going to see a lot, lot more grass. And you can basically play around with any mixture you deem to be adequate or that is up to the standard that you're looking to get a lot more grass but still the brick wall is visible behind there you have it thanks so much for being on this video hopefully you find it useful hopefully you found it interesting if you did please consider subscribing to my channel leaving a like there is a bunch of ways how you can support me they are all in the description below if you'd like to do that i'm super super grateful and i hope i'll see you on my new unreal engine beginner tutorial video until then, have a great day, thanks for watching, again my name is Ivica and have loads of fun in your Unreal Engine levels, bye bye.